Hello and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games, and this is my uh, Q and A series uh, set of videos, and this is my Q and A for the month of November. Uh, if you like and you want to ask me a question, it can be personal, it can be forty k related. Later, just drop it either in the comments in down here or in any of my uh, videos and I, I will answer those questions if it's in, in the Q&A that comes at the end of each month. So I've got a few here. I've got one and the first one I'll do is from Alicia Seabell because she put this in one of my videos and I, no, I could see it in my uh, notifications but it wasn't coming up on the actual comment section of the video and uh, no matter what I did I couldn't get it to show uh, so Alicia Zebel I hope that's uh, pronounced right <laughs> if not you, you you can tell me off later uh, I really like your videos man how long have you been playing Warhammer well, Alessia, uh, I've been playing for around 34 years. Uh, possibly a little longer, actually. Uh, there have been 38, nearly 38 years on and off. I mean, with the on and off bit, it's probably 30, 34 years more, more like, because I have a, had a small hiatuses between each... Uh, edition but it's not, I've always come back to it and this is probably the longest I've actually played without having a, a break which you and that's that's in fact a lot to do with uh, Nick Bell uh, Nick Beer oh, from me Nick Beer I, I've got a regular person to play and and it keeps my enthusiasm as I'm up for, for a game and the fact that I'm doing tournaments now as well helps uh, well, I hope that answers your question next one is uh, two from Brush and Quill if you didn't do Space Wolves which chapter would you do must be one with its own special rules quite easy white scars for me I like the look of salamanders but uh, the bikes and just that sort of suits my place are fast, aggressive. So I, I'd have to say white scars for me. Aaron Atkinson. Uh, Aaron's talking about, he just had a game and he says, I had no real viable options for secondary objectives do you think the list of secondary objectives needs to be expanded to provide more versatile options no i mean i I'm expanding them with uh ones in the codex is uh, uh can codex supplements that are coming out but do do i need to expand it more than that no uh i think once you know your list and know what your list's good at The secondaries will come quite easily. I think things like engage on all fronts is quite an easy secondary to max out. Uh, deploy scramblers is a nice ten points, and then you you can uh, you can either go a mission one. You've got grind them down, bring them down. That, so. So there are multiple ones out there, but you could, dependent on what you're facing. If you're facing an Imperial Guard army with all the, uh, a lot of tanks, then, then something like bring them down is good. Or if you're uh, facing an Orc army it's, or, or Tyranin army, it's pretty easy to yeah. shift small units off. Uh, and kill things, grind them down might be, be better. 
Uh, but if you're playing a custode, you're not going to take grind down, so you're going to try, try and take something else against them. That your school, but there are plenty of options in in there. You just have to find out what 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 works for your list. Uh, second one from Russian Quill. Thanks for the update. Rather than go through vids, here is a good is a Q and A question. Who is your modelling inspiration hero? I don't think I really have one. I take inspiration from anyone and anything. I can be walking through a supermarket and see uh, something on the shelf and think, "Ooh, I'll have that. That would look good. cool as a piece of terrain," or like. There was a giveaway uh, uh, Nick Beard did, uh, or he did a uh, review of Green Stuff World's uh, rollers, and I I thought they'd look cool, cool to get the uh, modelling clay roll uh, and use them as uh, make, make them my bases. And you'll see all my orcs are on my own, which I bought a uh, Green Stuff World Roller, got the uh, air dry putty which you put in the oven, rolled it out, rolled the pattern across it, used their cutters, base cutters to the right size and all my orcs are on, on my own bases. So it, it, it can be somebody who might have a great theme for our army and I think cool. Oh, I wouldn't mind doing something like that for one of my armies. A uh, bit like my uh, Thousand Sons, I saw a scheme I liked and I got the guy to paint it in that scheme. Uh, there's the big diorama thing of the, uh, like a warp, warp Walkway with the Ravager or, or something coming out and the, the, the Drakari ships coming out of it. That's cool, that, that would inspire, inspire, inspire me. But anyone and anything, if I see something that looks good or just tr triggers something in me, it doesn't have to really have to look good, but it just it can be the idea. And I think, yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind trying that out and, and doing this with it. I hope that answers your question. Uh, then I've got Nick. And he says, sounds good. How has this list changed with a new codex out? What he means is my, my this was on my Space Wolves list. My last video. Um, well, I've dropped the Wolfen and I've added Thunderwolves, Fenrir, and Wolves, and Terminators at the moment, and it might change again due once I've had to play around. But there, the Thunderwolves are really fast. They've got Swift to Hunters now, which allows them to move, advance, and charge in the same turn. You put a chaplain with them, give them, uh, and have Canticle of Hate, that charge now, it gets, you add two to it, so it begins to start making Thunderwolves and Fenrisian Wolves and, and anything with Swift Hunters really good. Uh, and as you said, if you watched um, the battle port between me and Nick, just recently, I'll link with that in the description below. Uh, you'll you'll see that uh, the way I played that, where I made Nick move and bring stuff into my charge threat area, worked pretty well. Uh, He then goes on to say, what is your favourite unit to play, rules-wise? Then model-wise, out of all your armies. Now, I assume both of our, from both my armies, but I want to expand on that a bit. So, 
Royal Swallows in my army, I think my, my decimators uh, would be uh, Soul Burner Petards. I absolutely love them. The more wound output I get off those are fantastic. Uh, but model wise, there's lots. I've got, I mean, I've got lots of models. I, I've got Phantom, I've got Eldar, I've got a Lynx, full drill Lynx from, I've got Gazgore, I've got a uh, Gorkonaut. Uh, in Space Wars, I've got Logan Grimnar, all sorts. Uh, but uh, uh, the model I'm going to ch choose model wise is one that you painted for me, which is uh, Captain Budrock. I'm not choosing him because you painted him, I'm choosing him because he's a pirate <laughs> and he, he, he's an orc pirate which is doubly good and, uh, and I just like the way he looks uh, if I was doing this out of any army rules wise then I'd say any Necron vehicle with quantum diff uh, quantum shielding because that is excellent now on thing. And it's quite hard actually for model wise out of all the factions, but I'd probably go. I'd like, I'd do a little, uh, I'd like to see a, a hex marks with the uh, sombrero, a little cigar, and a and, uh, poncho uh, to do a uh, Clint Eastwood good, bad, and ugly sort of look to it. Uh, gunslinger. Uh, I, I think that would look absolutely cool. Uh, so, uh, other than my my own armies, they're they they're what I would would say out of the other factions. I like. Hope that helps. Uh, Arthur Alexander, he says, how to build a list of Space Wars for 500 points, 1,000 points, 1,500 points and 2k points. He's in Brazil and he has to buy most of his stuff off eBay. Well, I don't know what you've got, Arthur, but we can't patrol quite easily. You want a HQ, uh, any HQ, uh, all of them are good. And then you either take him three units of blood or three units of grey hunters or three units of assault intercessors depending on what your uh, flavour is. I, I like blood claws so I'm using assault intercessors tonight just to change it up uh, and then you might get a fast attack unit or something else in, in there if you're lucky if you've got the points. Uh, for a thousand points you're, you're filling out that patrol you might take it up to a battalion that had an extra HQ and then a cut an elite or a fast or a heavy depending on what you're thinking of doing at 1500 points again you're just uh, fleshing it out adding more elites uh, maybe another troops and, may, and maybe some uh, heavy or, or or fast attack and at 2k points again you're do, do, doing the same flashing a list out but when I build a list I always try and build for the missions I look at what the mission is about I look at what the secondaries are available to me and I look at my army and say what in this, list, what in this army will give me the best to best chance of winning the mission against any opponent. I mean, you are going to come across just 
of opponents. Uh, but I mean, Salamander's Sisters of Battle, quite a few of the, most of the other uh, Space Marine Codexes are, you're going to struggle against because the, the, they, they just do certain things better than Space Wolves. The Space Wolves are melee centric, so shooting wise, they're not as strong as the other armies. They don't have specific units that specialise in that necessarily, so you're you're always having to play around in that area. It is you, but, but they're still a top, top, top 10, 10, 11, maybe 11, 12, 12 list just outside that top 10 list, top 10. But uh, you're always, so, so if you play well and you get a good matchups, you're going to win with Space Force. Quite a few of the time. If you if you if you get a bad match up, you come up against another Space Marines, and if they're a decent player, you're going to struggle. But that, that that's the way it is. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please hit the like button, press the subscribe, and hit the bell button for, to keep you up to date with more notifications. Also, ask any question you like. I will answer. If it's personal, if it's uh, 40k related if it's to do with uh, law if it's to do with unit specific yeah, tactical questions I don't mind I, if I don't know the answer or I, I don't have an opinion on it I will read up and then form an opinion or be able to tell you what that question it give give you some sort of answer to that question thank you for watching if you've been have enjoyed please hit the like button press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content also for you free to share anything you've enjoyed remember everybody knows the dice are loaded